Victor Wembanyama has to be one of the craziest draft prospects in NBA history. It's left many people wondering if you can even make a Victor Wembanyama build in NBA 2K. Some people just think he's straight up a cheat code. You couldn't even make him if you wanted to. But don't worry, I got it right here. And I feel like I cracked the code because you know what? I got even Joe Knows himself asking me how I made this build. There's always some people that are in disbelief. Some people said I just created it and that's not an actual build. Well, think again. So today, we're going to be playing on my Victor Wembanyama build on NBA 2K23. Now listen, this is not going to be a build tutorial type of video. I already have that video out. That's going to show up in the top right hand right now. But this is what the build is currently looking like. Today, we're going to be playing two games in the theater and then two games in the rack. But with all of that out of the way, let's get started. Let's go. All right, let's get to this game. Bro, Victor, 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 what is this zesty shit you are doing right now? All right, bro, let's get this started. We're going to be out here on defense first. He's going to combo, step back. He's gonna shoot uh, that's an open look but he's not gonna hit he's not gonna hit it we get the ball and now it's time to go to work all right let's get started right here it's time to combo up little cross cross drive hit it with the step back come on green <laughs> let's go that's too easy all right no possessions off we're back on defense let's see what you got my boy okay he crossing up a little bit let's see let's see what you got he's stepping back he's getting a little too deep on the court right now i ain't gonna guard him from all the way out there hits me with a spin move and then an Asta slide and gets the open lay that's got to be some of the weirdest movement i've seen this year so far all right back on offense let's get to work all right you know what i'm just gonna take him in the post i am 7-2 right i am bigger than him he a little body he ain't contesting that fade and that's green let's go all right i'm not even gonna lie i'm still trying to get used to being able to dribble on a 7-2 so the combos are not too great right now but we get the cross we get right by him we, we get that easy tomahawk dunk all right so he's already seen me hit the hop jumper so i'm gonna hop jump or cancel here and see if he plays high on it step back oh yeah gone goodbye buddy easy dunks let's go all right back on defense here hit him with the little oh he got the in and out okay i like that oh Oh, we like, we like, we like, we like, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. All right, I'm gonna hit him with like the dirtiest trick in the book right here. He probably thinks I'm lagging out. He's gonna give me some space and I'm gonna shoot this three. Oh, it's open, it's there, baby. Oh, I feel so nasty for that. Let's go. All right, we're back on defense and guess what, bro? I ain't lagging out this time. I'm all over you. We're, you getting that Kawhi defense, this possession. We're there, we there. You ain't open, bro. Come on, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Are you gonna step back and try and hit a midi? Nah, that's not there, bro. That's contested. Let, let me let me show you how to properly dribble. Even though I'm on a seven foot two, let's get the work real quick hit him with the little step back into the cross cross oh we're gone goodbye easy dunks let's go it's time for your second lesson all right let me let me show you how a big man dribbles hit him with the cross and i'm gone but guess what we stepping it back this time <laughs> let's go that's too easy all right come on bro you got to show me something at this point okay little De'Aaron fox movement i see what signature size up you're rocking oh he got a little bit of space on me but we're there are we not there 2k all right let me let me show you let me show you how to properly dribble i'm gonna take you into the mid-range little cross i paused for a second another cross we're gonna take him in the post actually and watch this right here spin step back they'll never guard it they will never guard it let's go all right we're here on defense bro come on you gotta show me something oh he got past me but we're there with the block victor webb Benyama actually gets a little bit of uh I, I, was that even a block I, I don't i don't even know it wasn't even a block we were just I guess we just intimidated him and he missed the dunk. I don't know, but right here, we finally got this ball and now he's reaching. Look at this. Look at this, bro. All right, it's time to finish him off. We got 19 points and I got just the move for him. Catch this half spin for me real quick. To the basket. Let's go. Oh, that was so clean. All right, second game. Let's go. And bro, bro, Victor, 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 Victor. Can, can we stop with this weird? What? 2K, what is this? All right, you know what? I'm not even going to lie. I should start off with like negative five points for what I just tried to do right there. But hold on. He's giving me space. I uh, I forgot how to shoot apparently, but it's okay. We're here on defense. Oh, this guy's moving kind of fast. Okay, he's kind of playing like it's 22 next, but we're we're not there somehow. Okay, all right. You know what? This guy is pressing me way way too high. We're just gonna take him into post and turn him into a little baby. Come on, post up with me. Come on, hit him with the post spin. Get out of my way. Thank you for the easy two. All right, I swear this kid is actually playing like it's 22, bro. Look at the speed boost runway, speed boost back the other way. But we're there. We're there. That's contested. How was that to go in? All right, let's get a little bit of offense going here. Score seven to four. Let me, let me let me combo up a little bit right here. Little step back, cross, cross. Goodbye. We're gone. Thank you for the easy buckets. Let's go. Back on defense. Let's try and get something. Let's try and get a stop here. He's just running one way. Speed boost back the other way. He's driving to the lane. We're there. We're there. There's no way that goes in. Thank you. Easy boards. Oh, now he's trying to reach. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Little baby. Come on. All right, let's try and combo up here a little bit. Try and get a little bit of separation. We're going drive. Come on. 
All right, he's kind of boxing me. I can't even lie. All right, we're just going to have to bully this kid in the post a little bit. Hit him with the hop shot. And that's green. That's too easy. You're too little. Back on defense here. Let's see what he's got. He's going to run one way, run back the other way. And then he's going to fade from three. He's going to miss that shot. We get the board. Easy board. All right, let's get out of here. And Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. He reaches across and somehow gets that steal. You know what? I don't even care. He's not even that good on offense. He's going to fade in the corner. He's really playing like this is 22, bro. Thank you for that easy board. Now, let me try and get away from this kid. Trying to get away from him, but he will not leave me be. And he just gets an auto pluck the moment I face up towards him. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm not even going to lie. I'm just going to post up on him for the rest of the game because that's the only way I'm not going to get plucked as easily. Get a nice little shed right there, and we get the easy bucket in the paint all right we're just gonna have to hide the ball away from him we're gonna take it into the triple threat into the post the ball's away from him. no are you serious bro are right, you know what give, give me that ball i don't care get that block bro that is insane literally he didn't even like reach around himself and did it he just pressed x and his player like animated into a steal animation and reach behind and get the steal that literally took no skill at that point like look at look at what he's doing bro he's just trying to spam steals but we spam his step backs from three and get an easy buckets literally the only reason this kid is in this game right now is because he was able to get some contested layups early on in the game and then secondly he's been getting turnover after turnover on defense by just pressing x and getting steals even when he's realistically not even in position to get them but right there we show you why he's bad on offense and now we're gonna get back here on offense ourselves he doesn't even look like he's trying to play us at this point leaving us way too open we get that easy green let's go all right let's try and get back on offense here we comboing up a little bit hit him with the cross go back the other way we got a little bit of a lane to the basket we get that easy dunk all right we're here on defense he's using that De'Aaron Fox size up as well he's getting to the lane we're there we get the block we have rim take right now so that was crazy for him to try and pull that off and right now I'm gonna press him like crazy try and waste as much of this clock as possible oh we are all over him right now he's got a lane to the basket again he tries to scoop it to the opposite direction we get the contest we get the board and he automatically goes for a steal all right we just need three points to win this game so I'm gonna triple threat him here spin hit him with the step back we got the space come on that's game it's not game never mind all right back on d back on d back on d we're here we're here oh he hits me with the spin but we are there for the chase down block there you go victor let's go back on d we're gonna press him like crazy he got 15 seconds he's just gonna fade in the corner we're all over that he bricks that and now we got bored again let's try and get this out here without him spam stealing me uh oh does he not want to play defense anymore oh that's so sad he knows he's gonna lose he leaves me open for the dunk all right 17 to 20 this man is cold he's got christmas takeover in the middle of what, what month is this i actually forgot it's october we're getting to the basket and we're getting that easy standing dunk and we're gonna get him out of here we end up winning 22 to 17 but now let's move on to these rec games man let's go all right so for all of these rec games there's gonna be a lot of post commentary but right here I i'm open i can't even lie i'm gonna cut over here to the left because i know there's space and then we're gonna get this nice easy catch and shoot three you can definitely shoot on this build you're gonna have an 86 three-pointer and you can hit step back threes just like that make sure you run hall of fame space creator and if you want the hop jumper you're gonna need that kevin durant hop jumper but again they're giving me too much space right here he presses up and then we get this easy easy contact finish in the paint with the dunk i'm telling you people sleep on the 80 driving dunk i honestly think if you're gonna budget when it comes to finishing 80 driving dunk is all you need on this type of build just enough to finish through contact get you some decent dunk animations you don't really have to get the contact dunk packages to still be able to finish through traffic and right here he's giving me way too much space get that three goes in easy and i gotta say this is probably one of the more fun builds i've played on like since the game has come out it was a little difficult at first it took me a minute to try and figure out how to dribble on this type of build i can't even lie but the defensive capabilities with the long wingspan being seven foot two and being minimum weight gives you a lot of speed on the defensive end and yes you do sacrifice some strength but i haven't really faced anybody that's been able to take advantage of that mismatch with my strength so i i'm not even gonna lie low strength on a center really isn't that big of a deal especially if you're somebody who plays with a lot of randoms i've played a couple inside bigs here and there but again i didn't really get pushed around too much right here he's trying to get that contested shot in the paint it doesn't go that was the end of the first game we shot almost perfect from the field six of seven from the field four for five from three and had 16 points only three rebounds but i'm going to attribute that to only having rebound chaser on silver and we ended up winning this game because well our big man that we were guarding was just clogging up the paint and nobody else could drive to the basket except for him just constantly standing in the paint but let's jump topics here really quickly let's let's talk about the man himself let's talk about victor Wembanyama. what do what do we think about him do, do we think he's really going to be one of these top players in the nba or is he just going to be prone to injury throughout most of his career because as we know players at his height with his weight 
it, it gets tricky to stay healthy. But again, Victor is some is a player that we've never seen before. So we don't even know if that will apply to him. So we'll just have to see. And I think as a prospect, he's definitely one of the greatest prospects ever. I know there's been a lot of people saying, oh, he, he would have had LeBron go number two if he went in 2000 and three 2004 whatever year LeBron would got would have had drafted if he was in the same draft class he would have had LeBron go number two to say that he's more of a talented prospect than LeBron James himself and you know obviously that's just probably just for clicks just to you know say shit just to say shit realistically I don't think he's more of a talented prospect than LeBron was when he first came out but I would say LeBron was definitely a much safer pick. <laughs> you know, the, the, it, it's still pretty risky going for Victor, even though he's just such a generational talent. But either way, I think he's going to be a pretty decent player in the NBA. Definitely an all-star if he can stay healthy because he's such a mismatch. Realistically, this sounds crazy, but you could probably, in a year or two after he gets adjusted to the NBA speed, start him anywhere between the three or the five because he's very good on the perimeter when it comes to defending guards and smaller players. He's pretty decent as a rim protector. So if a smaller player at like the small forward position gets by him, he has the wingspan and the reach to make sure that he doesn't actually get a bucket. So realistically, he could play small forward if he wants to, not obviously the entire time, but if he gets play, if he plays a small forward a couple of possessions, he can have a serious mismatch when it comes to height, still has a decent enough handle to get by some of those guys and could play well on the perimeter. Is he a one through five type of guy when it comes to defense, like somebody like Giannis? I don't think so, but I think if he were to switch on to a guard, he can hold himself, you know, for a decent amount of time without giving up an easy bucket. But that's going to be it for today's video, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys think Victor Wembanyama will be like when he gets into the NBA, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.